Hi friends, welcome to Programming Languages for Civil Engineering Students channel. In this video, I will discuss some more up updates about uh, this uh, RCC solutions. Okay, let us uh, let us begin. First, type the username. Okay, username. Then, as usual, password. Then, click on this login. Okay, then congratulations, login successful. Then today we discuss uh, a circular column and slab design okay circular column and slab design okay let us first clear uh, the first uh, click this uh, circular column then you'll get a window like that like this a pop-up window like this then just you can see here note please enter the values in yellow boxes only use tab key to enter the values okay first enter grade of concrete okay that is 20 then enter tab key okay then it will go to next uh, 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 box yellow box then grade of steel 415 then dia, dia of main bar main bar is 12 and dia of tie bar means ties means 8 okay then supported unsupported length is 3.0 meters and uh, working load that is 1200 kilonewton then enter the diameter of uh, the uh, circular column okay that is 400 okay just if you want uh, some more design considerations you can click here for theory is design considerations you can see here for circular column uh, the number of main reinforcement the number of main reinforcement board should be 6 okay and the cross section area of longitudinal reinforcement shall not be less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of cross uh, cross sectional area of the column okay and the spacing of the ties uh, should not be greater than 300 mm okay just you click on this start design okay design a short column and it may be treated as actually loaded column okay see we got everything we can see here the main reinforcement should be 12 mm diameter the ties should the spacing of the ties is 192 mm center to center of the diameter 8 and you can see here there are 26 number of bars to be provided so we have to 26 members for 12, 12 mm diameter so if you want to increase if you want to decrease the number of bars just we can we can we can uh, we can uh, increase the diameter of the main bar okay let us first clear all this and you again type fck is 415 uh, fck is 20 and uh, fck is uh, fy sorry here fy is 415 and the diameter of the main bar is uh, 25 okay then dia of ties is dia of tie bar is 8 and unsupported length is uh, 3 meters and uh, uh, load okay working load is 1200 then enter the diameter diameter is uh, uh, diameter of the column is 400 mm okay just again click okay design as short column then it may be treated as axially loaded column okay everything we got you can see here the number of bars is 6 bars number of bars to be provided is uh, 6 so in this way we can create we can use this uh, vb6 to solve uh, repetitive calculations by of in uh, rcc design okay okay let go for other uh, uh, topic other uh, uh, thing is slab design okay slab design you can see here this is the slab design you can see here uh, first i will today in this i will discuss only the load transfer mechanism in the next video i will discuss uh, the design of slabs and all these things first in this uh, video i will discuss load transfer mechanism you can see here this is a uh, one story one bay okay one story one bay 3d uh, uh, structure building you can see here there are columns okay beams and slab so how the load transfer mechanism will take place in building means in, in skeletal system okay in skeletal system of buildings 
you can see here the loads whether live loads or dead loads or any loads that will be spread that will be spread okay in, on the uh, this uh, slab then slab will transfer the tra slab will transfer the loads how the load that the slab will transfer the loads to beams and the beams will be tran beams will transfer the loads to the columns and columns will transfer loads to the footings and footings to the foundation okay this is the uh, mechanism so you can see a load transfer mechanism of a building okay once again slab will transfer the loads to the beams and beams will transfer loads to the columns and columns will transfer the loads to the footings and footings will transfer to foundation or to the ground okay okay anyway thank you for watching this video thank you